Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm back with probably the most epic Lego haul I've ever had in my life. If you've been following me on Instagram, you'll know that I recently went to Europe and I visited the uh, London and Billund Lego offices and I went crazy. It was my first time in Billund. I bought so much Lego, I came home with like two full suitcases just stacked to the brim with sets. So I have a lot of really cool stuff to show you guys in this haul, but before we get into it, I do want to remind everyone that I am an employee of the LEGO Group. However, all opinions expressed in these videos are my own and do not necessarily reflect the views of the LEGO Group, and LEGO is a registered trademark of the LEGO Group of Companies, which does not sponsor, authorize, or endorse this site. So we'll kick things off with some of the stuff that I bought in London. I did get all four of these lightsaber gel pens. I had no idea that these were a thing, but I think they're really cool. They're too big to like fit into a keychain minifigure's hand, but I mean, they're just nice. So I got all four colors. I also got these uh, London exclusive bag tags, which I definitely don't need, but their Lego exclusive items, so of course I bought them. And then I also found this really cool, like, uh, old-timey cop, I guess, key light, and I really love the Lego key lights, and again, this is exclusive to the Leicester Square Lego store, so I'm glad I got that. And I also got a bunch of other key lights in Billund. I got the Banana Guy, I got R2-D2, which I didn't even know was made into a key light, and I got this uh, pizza costume guy. So these ones are pretty awesome. I also got a whole mess of poly bags. So I'm going to move all of this stuff to the side so that I can pull in this giant pile. So um, just like whatever poly bags I didn't have already, I bought. I got the Venom Street Bike and the Draco in the Forbidden Forest ones, which I'm pretty excited for. I also got a couple of the Batman 1992 ones. Uh, some more Friends and Disney stuff. Uh, more Disney. I think I might have gotten duplicates of some of these, so I might have to give them away to Friends. Uh, got this Technic Rover, which I'm pretty excited for. And then, uh, like, the Build Your Own Monkey King poly bag. And this, uh, this Ninjago one that I actually haven't seen before. I also got the Kessel Mine Worker from Solo. And I was in Finland to visit my dad who lives there, and I found these three uh, magazines that came with these paper bags. So, I mean, I don't even like Minecraft, but I bought them because these are like the paper bags that you can only find in Europe. And I wish I had gotten like uh, the J minifigure instead of this wolf guy from Ninjago, but all of these are pretty cool, and so I can't wait to open them. I also got some pretty unique exclusive things. So I did visit my designer friend, and I had him sign his very first set for me. Designer signed sets are often sold in the Lego House Lego store, and so there were some of his copies there, but I really wanted a personalized one because it's his very first set, and so I'm so proud of him, and I can't wait to see what else he's made, and I definitely want signed copies of all of his sets. I also met up with Tommy Andreasen in Billund, the co-creator of Lego Ninjago, and he gave me this really incredible exclusive artwork that he just sketched and then brought over to me during our meeting. And this is beautiful. Like, it's just a generic ninja fighting some, like, shadowy monsters. But it's it's just a really cool sketch. I'm so happy that he gave me something like this, and so I'm definitely going to frame this and put this up on my wall. Of course, I did visit Lego House, and so I got my six bricks now in the new paper packaging. I'm also lucky enough to have one of these in the plastic packaging that a coworker had given me a few months ago, so I'm definitely keeping these sealed. This got a little bit crumpled in my bag, but I mean, it still looks pretty good, and it was so cool to finally visit Lego House. I also got two other exclusive keychains. There is this female minifigure, and then there is this brick. And these are really awesome, but I definitely will not actually put my keys on those. Um, and then for my six bricks, I did get this card. And you can see that I have combination number 219,917,698. And of course, because I was visiting LEGO House, I needed to get all of the LEGO House exclusive sets. That was honestly half my reason for going to Billund. So this is the latest set, the LEGO Building Systems. And as you can see, I did get all of these exclusive sets signed by Stuart Harris, who is like the co-designer on all of these LEGO House exclusives, except for the dinosaurs, I think, and the architecture set. 
And Stuart was just a wonderful person. He gave me a tour of the Lego House exhibits, and I just, I loved it. It was such an amazing experience. And I did bring back all of these sets in my suitcase, so unfortunately a couple of them got damaged, and the ones that got damaged are the ones that I care the most about. But next up we have the uh, Dagny Holm Master Builder set. And I will just have to move these back. I also got the minifigure tribute, like the big uh, pirate set. I think that this one is my favorite of all of the Lego house sets. And Stuart did personally sign these for me. They weren't on the shelves like this. So I had to meet up with him another day. And I'm really, really glad that I got signed copies of these things. Because it's not like I'm going to sell these ever. But it's just so cool to me to have like autographed Lego sets, especially when there's something this exclusive. But as you can see, this one did get way more damage than I would like. It's not too bad. I mean, I know it's just like a plastic toy, but it really did make my heart hurt when I just saw the damage that these ones got. Because uh, the pirate one and then this one, the wooden duck, they were on the top of my suitcase. And so you can really see that the duck got like pretty messed up at the top. And I'm just really mad about it because the ones uh, that were on the bottom, the Lego Building Systems and Dagny Holm, they were fine. You know, like they made it through pretty unscathed, but the ones that I care about more I had put on top and so they got more damaged. But now I know for next time. So next time maybe I'll have to get like more signed copies and just bring them back a little bit more carefully. Uh, but this one is signed by two designers. I think that that's James May's signature. That was on the shelf like that and then I just had Stuart add his. I also got the Lego House architecture set, which I'm super excited to build. I did not get this one signed, but it's just such an awesome set that I've always dreamed of owning. And then I did manage to get the dinosaurs, which I'm really happy about because it's been retired for a few years now. So my Lego designer friend, the one with that Venom mech set, he had actually bought this a few years ago. Uh, but the box was damaged and he didn't want to build it and he didn't want to keep it sealed because the box was damaged. So he ended up like trading it to me. And I'm so happy that he had one of them because I love dinosaurs. The Lego house dinosaurs were like my favorite exhibit in the whole museum. And I don't really care that the box is damaged because honestly, uh, some of this damage was like caused by me. This isn't the condition that my friend gave it to me in. He gave it to me in better condition. But, you know, I love dinosaurs. So I'm just so happy that I was actually able to get this set and I'm definitely going to build it. But see, that's the problem with being a hardcore Lego collector, because I don't want to build the sets that I have signed copies of. If I had known the duck and the pirate were going to get that damaged, I probably would have just built the signed copies and tried to get pristine ones on my next trip to Billund. But you know what? You live and you learn. So I did buy duplicate copies of most of the Lego House exclusive sets, so I got second copies of uh, like the four main ones, not of the architecture and obviously not of the dinosaurs. So you can see that these are way more damaged because they were just thrown into like a duffel bag and I didn't really pack them carefully at all because I'm going to build them so I don't really care about box condition. Um, so yeah, these ones really took a beating, especially this one. You can just, you can see how crushed this got. So I mean, compared to that, the signed ones are in really good condition. But yeah, I did get duplicate copies of Dagny Holm and the Pirate minifigure tribute as well, but I just couldn't fit all of those boxes in that one duffel bag, so I did unbox those and just bring the bags back. So when I say I went crazy, like, I really mean it. This is the duffel bag that I brought. I still haven't unpacked it, because as you can see, I just have so much stuff in here. So this is the Medieval Town Square set that I unboxed. And it's just sitting in this plastic bag to differentiate it from the other sets in the duffel bag. Because inside this duffel bag, I have my second minifigure tribute. I have my second Dagny Holm Master Builder. I have Snow White's Cottage. And I have the Orient Express. So, yeah, I'm not going to take everything out because I have nowhere to put it. That's why it's still in this bag. But when I say I went crazy, like, I mean it. Um... I spent so much money in Billund, I'm never doing this again. Like, I know I have a Lego obsession, but this is the point where it became clear that it's, like, going a little bit too far. So, you know, like, this was fun to, like, buy that much Lego in Billund and carry it all back through Finland and London and back to California. But it's definitely not something I'll be doing again. I mean, I guess never say never, but I know I'm not going to be getting four or five Lego House exclusive sets next time I go to Billund. So that should make things a little bit easier. So that about does it for my crazy Billund haul. Yeah, um, I, I spent a lot of money. I definitely spent like well over a thousand US dollars, but I 
did not count the exact amount because I was afraid to know. But, you know, that was like a once in a lifetime experience going to villain for the first time. So I think it's justifiable as long as I don't do it again the next time I go to villain. So that'll be the real test. I had such an amazing time visiting Lego Campus, visiting Lego House and the Idea House, like the employee exclusive museum. If you guys want to see pictures from my trip, please check out my Instagram at Golden Ninja 3000. I might review the Lego House sets. I don't know. Let, let me know if you guys want reviews. I'm not planning on building them for a little while. But if you want reviews of them, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well, and check out my website, goldenninja3000.com, and I'll see you guys with more videos soon. Bye for now.